let's go through the bike-specific questions on the free road code practice website at drivingtests.co.nz. There are 78 questions in total, and we'll break these across four videos. Here are questions 1 to 20. What should you do if an oncoming vehicle seems ready to cross your path? You should slow down and move left in your lane. This gives you a larger buffer. It also means that the other driver has more time to see you. As you can see in this diagram, the orange car is hiding you from the view of the red car. Moving left means that the red car can see you sooner. When can crosswinds occur? Buildings can shade you from the wind, and as you leave the protection of a building, you can suddenly get a strong crosswind. Before going through a right-hand curve, what is it best to do? As a learner motorcyclist, it's often difficult to judge how fast you should go through curves, so until you're more experienced, the best idea is to slow down. In any kind of skid, what should you do? To maintain the best control of the bike, keep both feet on the footrests. When may you carry a pillion passenger? You can only carry a pillion passenger on a full Class 6 motorbike license. What's the main danger in riding on bitumen after a rain shower? Now you could experience glare from the sun after a rain shower, and wet bitumen is slippery. But the main danger is manhole covers and road markings. Wet metal manhole covers and wet road markings are very slippery. What should you do when riding on a slippery surface? Check all that apply. You should use the front brake first. Using the rear brake first means you'd be more likely to skid. And you should ride more slowly. How should the quickest stops be made? Progressive braking is where you apply enough braking force to start the transfer of weight to the front wheel, then progressively increase the force on the front brake to make full use of the front tyre gripping the road surface. When seated on your motorcycle, where should your feet be? They shouldn't be on the pillion footrests, this is too far back. They shouldn't also be away from the controls because you'll need the controls such as the brake. If you tilt your feet down at the front, then you're at risk of catching your toe as you turn. So keep your feet firm on the footrests. Which brakes should be used on a slippery surface? You should use both, but use the front first as gently as possible, and only very gently if at all, with the rear brake. Some motorcycle instructors advise you to only use the rear brake in this situation, and this contradicts NZTA's information regarding this question. If you do get this question in the test, bear in mind that if you answer rear brake only, that you might not pass. When you are passing parked vehicles, the main danger is vehicles making U-turns or pulling out without signalling. Yes or no? The answer is yes. To drive your motorcycle safely and legally on the road, what must it have? Check all that apply. You'll need a current warrant of fitness. You don't necessarily need two headlights, but you do need a working horn. You wouldn't have a red reflector at the front, but you do need a working speedometer. What are the usual causes of skidding? Check all that apply. Overbraking on one or both wheels can cause the wheels to lock, and this causes skidding. Heavy acceleration can overpower the grip that the rear wheel has and cause you to wheel spin. Changing direction suddenly can exceed the lateral grip of the tyre. And riding too fast on wet or unsealed roads, where the road surface is more slippery, can also cause skids. When carrying a passenger, what's the most important thing to remember? 
a passenger adds more weight to your bike, and this means that it will respond more slowly because it's heavier. Your headlights won't be dipped further, your headlights will actually shine higher up, and therefore you'll need to make an adjustment so that you don't dazzle other drivers. You can't stop more quickly when your motorbike's heavier, and you should always sit in the normal position on your bike. You shouldn't move forward to give your passenger more room, as this reduces your ability to control the bike. What will holding your knees against the petrol tank help you do most? While holding your knees against the petrol tank does make you slightly more aerodynamic, the main advantage is that it helps you balance. If another vehicle can enter your path, what should you assume? You should always assume that other vehicles haven't seen you. If you see a vehicle ahead of you about to pull out of a parking space or do a U-turn, what should you do? To make yourself more visible to the vehicle, slow down and move right in your lane. What should you do if your helmet is damaged? Because you won't know exactly how much your helmet is damaged, and because any damage weakens the shell, you should always throw it away and buy a new one. If your motorcycle was first registered before 1st of January 2000, how often does it require a warrant of fitness inspection? Any vehicle this old or older will require a warrant of fitness every six months. Hypothermia is a term that's used to describe a condition motorcyclists can suffer from. What could cause hypothermia? Hypothermia means that your body's core gets too cold, so you wouldn't get it from too much clothing, or lack of water, or lack of food. But when you're travelling at speed, wind can provide a significant chilling factor. 